Right then, welcome to our next episode of Paul and Carol Meets. And our special guest today is none other than travel blog Jamie. Hi, how are you? <laughs> We're good. So thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go through a few questions that Paul has got all written down. So hopefully you can... Uh... I don't know what these questions are. I'm a bit worried. No. <laughs> but let's go straight into it and then we can uh, just chat as we go along. So if a train's leaving New York and no. a train's leaving... A... <laughs> What's the question you sent me? Is that a mathematical no. question, Paul? <laughs> oh. What was your first ever cruise? Oh, you know this, and you just want me to say the word. <laughs> My first ever cruise was actually on Pino's Oceana. <laughs> they always have a go at me for saying Oceana. Oceana. Who's now, um, I believe, um, it's owned by... Ferry, a Greek, I think. Yeah, ferry, yeah. A Greek ferry, yeah. So uh, my first cruise on Oceana was actually a Christmas present to my uh, well-known upper half, Mathul. Yes, And Mathul's cruised for years and I hadn't, so I thought I'm going to surprise him with a lovely Christmas present. Oceana was my first one. And, and just, this is not on the list of questions, have you ever been on the Oceana? <laughs> <laughs> well, What's funny that? you say that because uh, our first P and O was on Oceana, Oceana, and that's where we met Travel Rock Jamie. And do you remember just how we before? met? Yes, I do. You it was four months. From the sofa, as I, recall. I fell into a sofa that was all of like one feet in depth, and I literally went, "Oh my goodness yeah. me!" It was four months, like, wasn't it? And we um, had been yeah. in contact. We said, "Well, we're in this certain lounge." And, and we were sat there just chatting, and you came and sat, and should have been at our eye level, but all of a sudden you were on the floor. But I was anyway, on the floor. we're so glad we met you because uh, we're f now good friends, isn't it? Which is lovely. So, um, anyway, next question, Paulie. Next question What motivated you to, and when did you start your channel? Um, I started my channel probably just before. I went on Oceana, so that must have been about 10 years ago, but it was just somewhere to actually place all my footage. Um, so it, it wasn't strategic in any way. It wasn't even a hobby. It was just, where am I going to put all this footage? And I just put it on YouTube. So it was about 10 years ago. What was the other part of that question? When did you, and what was your motivation? My motivation? Oh, I answered that. Yes, you have. I literally just oh. wanted to put oh, yeah. my footage <laughs> I, I somewhere. Did, I didn't say you hadn't answered it. You asked me to just clarify. <laughs> It's not my fault you're not paying This attention. is really, really <laughs> difficult, actually. Yeah. So I about ten had years a half ago. a beer before this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, How many cruises have you been on so far? Oh, my God. Who counts that? Everybody, do. Everybody, <laughs> everybody can say. Of course I they just do. I know I've been on over 50, but I don't know how many exactly. <gasps> you need to start counting. Mm. How do you do that when you've we'll lost just, count? We well, just keep a tally. How do you do that? Notes. How do you do, do you you're, you're a teacher, surely you know the count. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I could find out actually. I'm, I'm going to do that for yeah. you, but it's over 50. Yeah. <laughs> going aside from the questions there, um, for those of you who don't know, Jamie is actually um, is a deputy, deputy headmaster of a school. That's <laughs> what I mistress. But I'm, pleased to, but I'm pleased to say that mathematics isn't one of the things no, he teaches. No, but you do, you fluent in Spanish, fluent in French. Yeah. Um, have I missed any out? Um, no, fluent in English as well, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, how do you juggle, um, because I know editing videos and stuff is really time consuming mm. and can be quite stressful. So how do you juggle that it's a very stressful job that you've got and you're <laughs> yeah. um, obviously getting, because you regularly put out content. So uh, how do every you do week, that? yeah. yeah. Um, I tell you what was a game changer for me was actually, and I don't recommend this, but it's when I just started using my iPhone more regularly and I edit on the go because like I just don't have time. Um, so I edit on the go. If I'm, we love going to theme parks as well as well as cruisings. If I'm in a line and I think I've got a half hour line, I'm literally stood there editing videos as well. Right. So I'm literally snatching moments. Um, I'm probably the worst person to ask about how to manage your time. I was up at half five this morning and um, I just got out of bed and thought, I haven't got a video ready, I'm going to edit it now. So not really very good practice, if I'm honest with you. Uh, given the constraints of my job. But obviously when I'm on my holidays, and I do get good holidays, I do acknowledge that, I appreciate that. Um, 
I am constantly vlogging then and editing, knowing that I'm gonna have a seven, eight week period when it's gonna be really tough. So I just snatched moments, but because I do it all on my phone now, yeah. unlike you fabulous people who are much, much better than I am at doing it, no, no. I am just editing yeah, on yeah, iMovie yeah. and that's I, it. I'd agree yeah. with that, yeah, we're much better than <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's funny. About too much. And my, my yeah. input too much. to the editing is about as much as Matthew's input to this interview. <laughs> so <that's everyone's... laughs> but talking about using your phone, that's um, we're doing that more and more, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, I are. used to do all my on the GoPro. Now mm -hmm. I bought a little cheap gimbal, and I oh, find what? a little gimbal. I'll show oh. you later. It's a gimbal. <laughs> it was in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Using your phone, we're doing it more and more, aren't we? Yeah. Favorite um, cruise ship of all time. Oh no! And if you want to, you can go small, medium, big, or just all time, just straight out there. Um, that's a really unfair question, actually. I don't have a favorite cruise ship of all time. I really don't. However, the ones that I've enjoyed most, and I think it all comes down to the itinerary, who you're with, the weather, everything, uh, the kind of food, the crew that are on board at the time, because they obviously move around quite oh, a lot. They time, rotate. Yeah. Um, I really loved um, uh, Cunard. Cunard. Can I say that the way you would like? Cunard. Cu I loved Cunard, Queen <laughs> Mary too, and Queen Victoria more, re uh, more recently. I thought it was just stunning, and I was looked after so well on board. I really was. I just thought it was a really special uh, four nights. I really like Disney Magic, and it's not for everyone, but it was so nostalgic for me in so many ways. And it made me think about all sorts. Uh, in terms of my life, my family, my dad, there was yeah. just so many things there that really brought it to life for me. Uh, and I like Piano Iona. I love the sense of space on board. I love being with you two. Yes, we did. We had a fab cruise, didn't we? And I love just, my food. Um, I love, yeah. you know, I, love, I can yeah. eat like three main meals, can't I? Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> yes. The food on board was just stunning. So That's one thing Piano do well, isn't it? You don't have to pay a cover charge. You can pay per dish. And yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, um, Hopefully that answers your question. It does. Well, quite spookily. The next question is, what is the best meal you've ever had on a cruise ship? Oh, well, now, that's a tricky one, uh, because I'm always eating. Well, but, I'm, I mean, because you have 17 meals a day, that yeah. does, that does make it more difficult? Like, we go to the main dining room, and we have a fantastic meal, and then we'll go back to the cabin later, and I'll have pizza delivered, you know? But, actually, the most, one of the most... so slim. Oh, I'm not. I just, you know, those strap in things. What are they? <laughs> oh, you've got spanks on. <laughs> yeah, I spank all the way on. I promise I've behaved myself. I haven't sworn yet, though. I haven't no, sworn. You're doing so, very well. One of my favourite meals has to be on Fred Olsen Borealis. And they have uh, two restaurants on board one called Vasco and one called Colours and Tastes. You might know of these. Uh, they are Asian fusion restaurants. And mm. um, I love my Asian food. I love a bit of spice as well. You know that. Yes. And they just blew it out of the water for me. I was absolutely gobsmacked at the um, variety of food, the taste, just incredible. I wish I was there with you because you would have loved it yeah, there if you haven't been. Really I was really surprised to enjoy Fred Olsen so much, but the food was phenomenal. Yeah, funny you say that. We had the best seafood buffet in Fred Olsen. It was prawns chain, yeah. and lobsters everywhere. Okay. Anyway. Right then. Right then. Right then. Right then. <laughs> Favourite cruise destination. Mm. As in somewhere I've been or somewhere I want to go. Well, do no, we've so, been? Somewhere you've been first. Maybe and that. Maybe that somewhere you want to go could be a later question. Who knows? Well, you have to read them. All. I thought you'd have them all up here. <laughs> I do know. It's written down here. I don't. You keep anyway. My, you do. <laughs> my favourite cruise destination. Again, a very unfair question. There's so many places. Like I have to say though, the one place I cried when we arrived was San Francisco. Mm. Uh, when we were going under the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. In fact, I woke up, I didn't know what time it was, thinking, oh my God, I need to check. I did, literally ran out onto the balcony wearing very little. I'm so sorry about that. And I could see the bridge there and the sun was just rising. It was clear skies. Uh, it was Easter wow. time. It was just one of those moments. I remember saying out loud, oh my God, I never thought I'd ever be here, let alone arrive on my cruise ship. That has to be uh, a highlight for me arriving there. And we did so many things that day as well. We went to Sausalito, um, we went to Moya Woods, we did obviously a tour of um, San Francisco. Just incredible, absolutely fantastic. Did you go to Alcatraz? I'm going to Alcatraz, it's like a. Oh, that's my dream. Oh, that's where, Your oh. dream. Why I want to do that. I love prison oh, films. Leave him behind, stuff. that's for sure. <laughs> and get locked away. Yeah, lock him away. <laughs> No, I would like to go there. If we yeah. went again, that's one place yeah. I like, but we just didn't have time because we had the one whole day there. Mm. Fabulous. And 
Shall I ask in the future ones then, Paulie? Is that your next question? Well, it's none of your business what my questions are. <laughs> I spend hours, he doesn't know his I questions spend hours are. putting these questions together. I just copied and pasted them and sent them to Paul. <laughs> Bucket list cruise. Money and time, no object. Um, I would like to sail, well, apart from a round the world cruise, obviously, uh, that's not going to happen until I retire, which is not that far off, really, actually. Well, yeah, because what are you, 68 now? I'm, I'm, no, I'm 60, <laughs> no, 66 now. Oh, um, no. I would like to sail from Los Angeles to Hawaii and explore the islands. Does that answer your question? Do you, yeah. want to know, you don't want to know why, do you? It's like Hawaii, for goodness sake. What else do I need to say about Was that? it because when you were growing up as a small boy, <laughs> you really enjoyed the TV series of Hawaii Five-O? It was, absolutely. Yeah. All those tight T-shirts <laughs> and <laughs> wet T-shirts. Ah, yeah. We've just been looking at that for 2025. And when she says we, she means she has. Me. Well, you don't do any of this, do you? No. But that Trans-Pacific, mm. isn't it, from California through the Pacific Islands and down to New Zealand. I'll, I will do that as well, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So that would be absolutely 2025, amazing. 2025, I'm there. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds amazing. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's your next cruise? Uh, my next cruise, no, it's not Christmas because we're going to Florida. My next cruise will be, <laughs> will be <laughs> p <P&O. laughs> You know, Iona, and I will be revisiting fantastic destinations such as Rotterdam and eating my way through Market Hall. Market Hall. And visiting Hamburg. And actually, I love Hamburg because everything is so it's accessible. Free. It's free. Everything, everything is free. accessible, and you don't have to walk very far <laughs> to get anywhere. Oh. And it just so happens, I believe there might be other bloggers on that cruise, but I wouldn't want to say because that would ruin anybody. We know. You want to? I don't think you know them. Have you thought about? <laughs> have you thought about taking some euros this time in case when you visit various hostelries, well, your card won't be accepted? Just saying. Well, it's not a spoiler alert because uh, we always tell our patrons and our YouTube members first, and they already know. But we've rebooked to go on Iona, knowing that Jamie and Matthew are on in, in February, and we had some fruit cruise credit to go. And knowing so that we're Jamie back owes on just seven, to annoy him even more. Jamie owes us <laughs> 17 rounds of drinks in Hamburg, so this is the only way we can get it back. <laughs> So oh, we'll be we revisiting the to, place um, where we met. Yeah. Well, which will be amazing. Oh, do you remember those big knockers? We do. <laughs> oh, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. No one has. And remember that time we went to Hamburg. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Do you want so me do... to mention fish? What's <laughs> no, it no, no. No. We could, we could insert a photo. Anyway, so let's go to the <laughs> next question. How many more cruises do you currently have booked? Um... I don't know. I know we have, we've got Iona booked and we are going on the new Morella Voyager um, ship uh, next year around the Med. We're going on Disney Wish, which is Disney's newest ship uh, around the Bahamas. Oh, we are also going on uh, Morella Discovery. You like Morella. Yeah, don't you? we can't beat Morella. Morella, actually. Yeah, but great that's, fun. Yeah, that's leaving from um, Port Canaveral and going to Savannah. It's going up to New York for two nights and then down to the Bahamas. Um, we also have a Fjords cruise booked on Iona. Uh, oh, an Arvia, Piano Arvia, the yes. newest ship. We're doing uh, a two week med cruise at Easter and we're also going to the Caribbean for next Christmas as well. I bet you're glad you didn't book the maiden. I never, I would never book a maiden because I always am really worried. I've seen so many being cancelled and yeah. it's up to, you know, it's up to you what you do. For me personally, that's not something I would want to do. I want. Uh, people to have time to sort of settle into their roles and so on. I, I wouldn't personally choose to go on a maiden, but yeah. I do feel for all the people who have missed out on that. Yeah, well, we never have, have we? But we have actually booked a couple, so we'll see if we get on them or not. Uh, I'm not going to say which one. I think I know which one. <laughs> Once. Oh. How has your YouTube style and content changed? Oh, that's quite deep. <laughs> well, you know, when I put these questions together, I like to make you think. Okay, that's an easy one. Um, as time has progressed, I've stopped worrying so much about what other people think I should do. Because you get a lot of advice from people. You should do this, you should do that. And actually, um, I don't feel like I have enough time with my full-time job to even consider all of that. I've become more, I think, natural and more myself. I'm super funny, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, she's laughing. He's a funny no, guy. 
whereas before I think I'd be a bit more serious, I just say what I'm thinking now and I, I cut out all the swear words. Obviously, you wouldn't know that if you ever watched any of my vlogs. <laughs> so I'm just a bit more natural now, but I think a bit more informative as well as that. So when Jamie used to do his videos, they were about 58 oh, minutes long. Once he, <laughs> once, he cut out no. the, once he cut out the swear and he could actually put it out as a YouTube short. <laughs> no. Oh, it's true, actually. No. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? You, know, you do evolve and you do have to just do with whatever the constraints that you have. But I think what, mm. and we've certainly noticed that, is being more a little bit more personable. And I think people like that. People like yeah. to, to get to know the person behind the camera, don't they? And um, more, we've certainly found that with our channel, haven't we? Channel. More recently, I uh, the most recent vlog that I'm currently making, which is taking me forever, is a whole week on board Ventura, Piano Ventura. And at the moment it's like two hours. Of course it will be shorter, but I'm actually less worried about putting out something that's a lot longer now because uh, it's they, they've been really well received more recently. Uh, people just want to know what your experience is for the whole of your cruise rather than snippets of it. Yeah. So I'm less worried about doing that now. Whereas beforehand I'm like, oh no, no, I'm, this is Gotta just a vlog. On a, yeah, I need yeah. a vlog every week on this and now yeah. I'm not so worried about that. Yeah. yeah. Fab. How do you deal with the nasty and negative comments without <laughs> swearing. Um, I mean, do you get I've some? Seen, I know we I've do. I've seen I'm some sure of your Instagram stuff, which makes with, me um, smile. Well, obviously, you can set your sort of key words. Yeah. So, if any of those are used uh, by somebody who really wants to, you know, go yeah. for you, it, it just won't be on your radar. I'm not very good at this sort of thing, to be honest with you, because actually if somebody is openly unpleasant to me, I nearly always go back at them. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't, and you would tell me not to do that. Yeah. I know you would. I just can't It's hard. Myself. It's really hard. I, it doesn't happen very much, to be honest with you. I've yeah. got to be honest, I, I'm, I'm pretty lucky with that. I don't know if it's the keywords I've inputted, but it doesn't happen very much yeah. at all. Um, but it is really difficult. We used to really struggle with it, didn't we? You did particularly more so than me. Oh, oh, I used never, to, used to I get, get offended at a thumbs down. I, get a th <laughs> I, I, got, I used to get a th offended at a thumbs down because a thumbs down is like the cheapest shot where you don't even know who's done it. I got a little bit more respect for somebody who just calls you a fat bloater or says how many chins have you got because at least their names out there, so you can respond to them. But a thumbs down, you can't. But now, I just think any interaction is better than no interaction. Well, no, I see. I disagree. I yeah, just think I, I just think it's funny. I just, yeah. I just look at it and I just think when somebody comes out with stuff, I just think how sad must yeah. your life be, to be able to, that you're yeah. doing this. And the only pleasure you yeah. get from life is being mean to somebody else yeah. who's obviously more successful. But I think the, than you the message that we're that you have to is you have to develop quite thick skin, don't you, being a YouTuber? Yeah. Because there are some keyboard warriors so. out there, and you hack you can't because it could be really quite depressing, couldn't it? Um, yeah, um, I've certainly experienced quite a lot of homophobia over the years. That's for sure, and I deal with it much much better now. It doesn't actually affect me at all. I've got to be honest with you, not even an iota. Yeah. Because these are people who don't know you. Um, and are just trying to get a reaction yeah. and they can say anything they want about me or my family or my friends it just goes over my head now yeah. every now and then I do get embroiled a little bit and I try and be outsmart them a little bit but that's normally if I've had a, a few wines <laughs> which is but quite often you all agree that the, the positive comments that you get Oh yeah, far away, far away and, and it's a very rewarding it, we're talking about minute number yeah. of people it doesn't yeah. matter to me they don't exactly. mean anything to me one piece of advice that you would give to aspiring YouTubers? <laughs> so there's something that came to mind then. I think you just have to be yourself and you have to be your authentic self. And uh, I've gone through, I think I've gone through lots of iterations of myself and I'm much more comfortable now with what I'm doing. Uh, I enjoy it more as a result. Not trying to be like someone else, not trying, not worrying about how many views or likes someone else has got. That just doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, and once that starts getting under your skin, it really can affect you in the way that you present as well. So I've, I've gone through that, I, I think, and I've come out the other side better for it. And now I just don't care. And I'm just yeah. gonna film what I like. Yeah. I'm going to say what I enjoy, what I think is useful, and I want to be able to look back on my own vlogs in years to come and think, oh, that was fun, oh, yeah. I enjoyed that, or what an amazing memory. You know, it's about me as well, and my own yeah. family. It's not just about everyone watching. Um, so I think 
And on, can I just say one other thing as well? It re <laughs> I think people should focus more on putting content out than always talking about the statistics. Yeah. Um, because very often I see people who are starting out and they're always talking about the statistics and milestones. And whilst that's important and they should be proud of it, I get it. Um, I want to see the content. You know, and if you have time after time, day after day of just, this is what I'm at, this is what I'm at, this is what I'm reaching. I want to see the content and the people who interact with me normally say, I'm really pleased you're always putting something new out uh, regularly. So yeah. just balance that a little bit more carefully. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I get that totally. It is good though when you do reach a milestone because you work hard for it, isn't it? Yep. So it's, um, yeah, so it's hard to switch off from those numbers as well. Um, but yeah. Get that's that. just my opinion. No, 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 totally get that. That's, that's good. If you had to choose your favourite person out of the duo, Paul and Carol love to travel, <laughs> and you weren't allowed to pick <laughs> Carol, who would it be? Well, I, oh, it's a really, actually, no, that's a really good question, because I never know who's who out of you two, as you know. Who is who here? Because that's why we change places, so you wouldn't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who they are, actually. I'm actually sat on the bed. <laughs> In a, in a hotel room. I don't know what's going on. I would choose both of you, and I always give you both a nice cheeky kiss, so. Oh, and he does. Brilliant. I do give him a nice little kiss. Right, so, um, who are you? Where can people find you? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Jamie here. Um, my name is Travel Blog Jamie. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Have I got a website, Matthew? I have got a website, yeah. Matthew, Matthew oversees that. It's travelblogjamie.com. I'm on um, Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins. You also manage, um, or not manage, but have a couple of groups, don't you? I um, do. That you're admin to. So I don't know if you want to share those as well. I don't remember what they're called, You Carol. do. P&O Cruises, P&O UK Cruises. Oh, God, fan pay. I don't know. I'd have to, no, I don't remember. There's too many words in there. <laughs> we'll put a little ticker tape at the bottom here. Yeah. How do you not know? Because, just because, because you've got lovely too many admins, haven't you? With, uh... No, my admins are amazing. Yeah. They're incredible. But I, I think it's P&O Fan. It's P&O Fan Cruise. And UK... Do you know Matthew? Let's Cruise. We've got Let's Cruise UK <laughs> fan page. I can tell you that one, but the other one, P&O P fan page UK... No, I don't remember. Anyway, we'll put well, it anyway, in the bottom well, But what I do know is that Jamie's Jamie, groups that's been is, really informative. There's a lot of groups on Facebook is that, which are quite... Um, not a pleasant place to be sometimes because it's full of lots of people with opinions. But what I love about Jamie's groups that he does manage and his fab admin is that it's a kind place to be. And there's sometimes on the internet, there's not many kind places to be, is there, when it comes to groups. So uh, we, I'll put the link in here so you can follow him. Um, or not follow him, but join his groups there because it's full of fabulous information, um, which we got when we were first going on p &L. We did. So, so, so um, anyway, so he's been Travel Blog Jamie. Yes. We've been Paul and Carol loves to travel. Yes. We've, Carol, we've just met him. No, we haven't. Thanks for watching. Anyway, yes, thank you so much oh, for joining our last, uh, not our last episode, but our latest episode of Paul and Carol Meet, and we hope you've enjoyed it. So we'll catch you soon. <laughs>